Introduction It is Diwali time. Vani is lighting candles in front of her house. She has 30 candles. She wants to arrange them in five rows. She wants to know the number of candles she must arrange in one row. She performs a quick calculation and decides to arrange six candles in every row. In this lesson, you will learn multiplication and division. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to perform multiplication operations, perform division operations, multiplication. Multiplication is repeated addition. For example, to find the total number of legs of five chairs, we'll add four five times because each chair has four legs. Four plus four plus four plus four plus four is equal to twenty. In other words, five times four is twenty. We can write it as five into four is equal to twenty. Cross is the sign for multiplication. The first number, five, is called the multiplier. The second number, four, is called the multiplicand. The result of multiplication is called product. Properties of multiplication. Now let us learn some properties of multiplication. Look at these dots. There are three rows of them. In each row, there are five dots. How do we find out the total number of dots? We add five three times. In other words, we calculate three times five. We can write it as three multiplied by five, which is equal to fifteen. Let us look at different arrangements of the fifteen dots. The dots can be arranged in a single row of 15 dots. 1 multiplied by 15 is equal to 15. The dots can be arranged in 15 rows of 1 dot each. 15 multiplied by 1 is equal to 15. The dots can be arranged in 5 rows of 3 dots each. 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15. 1 multiplied by 15 is equal to 15. 15 multiplied by 1 is equal to 15. 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15. 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. These are called multiplication facts. Multiplication table of 2. Multiplication becomes easy once we memorize the multiplication facts. Multiplication facts are contained in multiplication tables. Let us start with a multiplication table of 2. Two ones are 2. Two twos are 4. Two threes are 6. Two fours are eight. Two fives are ten. Two sixes are twelve. Two sevens are fourteen. Two eights are sixteen. Two nines are eighteen. Two tens are twenty. Multiplication tables of three to ten. Let us now learn the multiplication tables of the numbers 3 to 10. Let us start with the table of 3. Now the table of 4. Table of 5. Tables of 6, 7, 8, 9 
and 10. Multiplication of single digit number. One fruit bowl contains six apples. How many apples will 13 such bowls contain? We must multiply 13 and 6 to find the answer. Write 13 as 10 plus 3. Multiply 10 and 6. Then multiply 3 and 6. Sum the results up. 10 multiplied by 6 is equal to 60. 3 multiplied by 6 is equal to 18. 60 plus 18 is equal to 78. 13 bowls will contain 78 fruits. Example Multiply 75 by 6. Place the numbers one below another. Multiply 5 by 6. 5 sixes are 30. Place 0 below 6 and 3 above 7. Multiply 7 by 6. 7 sixes are 42. Add 42 and 3. Write 45 below 7. The answer is 450. Properties of division. Division is the reverse of multiplication. It is repeated subtraction. Let us learn to divide now. Look at this picture. There are 24 flower pots in the garden. The gardener has arranged the flower pots in four rows. How many flower pots are there in each row? Let us go step by step. There are six flower pots in each row. The gardener arranges six flower pots in the first row. He has 18 flower pots left. He arranges six flower pots in the second row. He has 12 flower pots left. He arranges six flower pots in the third row. He has six flower pots left. He arranges six flower pots in the fourth row. He has no flower pots left. In other words, 24 minus 6 minus 6 minus 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. The gardener has divided the 24 flower pots into four rows with each row containing six flower pots. We can write the situation as 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. This is the symbol of division. 24 is the dividend, 4 is the divisor and 6 is the quotient. Example 18 girls have to be seated in a bus. Two girls can sit in a single seat. How many seats must be there in the bus? Divide the girls into groups of two. There are nine groups. So, there must be nine seats in the bus. We can write the above problem as 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Multiplication is repeated addition. Multiplicand is the number multiplied. Multiplier is the multiplying number. Product is the result of multiplication. Division is repeated subtraction. Dividend is the number divided. Divisor is the dividing number. Quotient is the result of division. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. For more details, visit www.unfoldu.com.